Yeah, and I don't have self-lacing shoes. Well, welcome to our first episode for 2018. Trav, it's 2018. I still don't have a flying DeLorean. Yeah, and I don't have self-lacing shoes. Do you have a hoverboard? No. No. Oh. Well, <laughs> we're at least here. We're back for 2018. And today we're going to be running you through our new SX2 range of amplifiers and some new products which we thought would show you are pretty cool and unique. Mm -hmm. So grab yourself a biscuit, a cup of coffee, sit down, put your headphones on, and have a listen and get ready. Mm, biscuit. So the first product that I wanted to show you today is our DAB antennas. Um, you'll see that DAB is becoming a lot more popular in vehicles now. A lot of factory radios are coming out with DAB and a lot of the aftermarket radios now have DAB as standard. Um, something that we get asked a lot in, in the office is, you know, I'm not overly happy with the reception that I'm getting. Now we've tested both these amplifiers in the Australian market and we find that they work an absolute treat. Now the first one we're going to look at is the STDAB1. Now this one has your SMB connection along with a 3 meter extension and has the uh, on glass amplifier. Now this will mount up the top of the top of the windscreen and you'll peel off the backing on this uh, on the element portion. So all you'll have is a clear film with the element that runs in between. So you'll have that positioned up in the center of your windscreen. And again, like we said, we've tested it in our market and the reception is awesome. The other one that we have, and I really like this one, uh, it's, a, it's non as intrusive as, the, uh, as, as what we find the other ones are, or this one, is that the amplifier on this one, which is the STDAB2, easy part numbers to remember, the actual amplifier is hidden up underneath the A-pillar, so you're not going to see that on the windscreen at all. So all you're going to have is that portion, oh, if it stops bouncing around, that portion of the element on the windscreen. So, you know, you barely see it and notice that it's there. Again, comes with the SMB connection and a three meter extension. So if you're in the market for DAB, definitely check these antennas out. Now one product I couldn't resist to show you guys is the new Pack VR5. Now what these guys are, are basically an adjustable resistor. How many times have you been uh, installing a steering adapter or putting LEDs or interfacing with central locking and you've needed the right resistor and had to run out to your electronics store to try and find it or try and find one randomly around the workshop to make it happen? So basically the VR5 comes as a five pack of these really cool little adjustable resistors. So these guys are a two wire configuration, same as a normal resistor, three quarter watt handling, so more than the little tiny carbon resistors you tend to get, but they have this cool little adjustment then on top. Now this adjustment allows you to go all the way from zero through to 5,000 ohms, which is great. So the next time you give us a call and we say, hey, you're gonna need a 600 ohm resistor and you're scratching around trying to find one in your toolbox or your workshop or wherever, you can grab one of these guys out, simply connect your multimeter to the two wires, adjust the top of it to 600 ohm, go and put it in the car, and you're done. Now the next little product I'd like to bring you is one for the install bay. This gives you a dual USB flush mount. Now it comes with a 1.8 meter extension harness and also has this great solid lock ring nut. So when you screw this into place, it ain't going anywhere. Uh, we've tested in-house for uh, Android Auto and CarPlay use, and it passes all that information through fine to the head unit. The other option is also you can have the bracket to under dash mount as well. So great little product, one for the install bay, and one for all those people that you know, can't make up their mind between Android Auto or CarPlay. So a new segment for our 2018 series is we get a lot of people sending us some pretty cool videos and photos of products installed in cars. Yeah, now we really appreciate it, you guys putting stuff up and, and proud of what you're putting up. So we thought we'd like to share that with everyone else that watches our videos. Which, as we have a customer who wanted a bit more safety and then with cameras. So 
that we put on cameras on the mirrors. Reverse camera down there. We've used a switcher to when she indicates we'll force the cameras on. Put a brand new Sony head unit in with an Apple CarPlay and a CD. That's a flash kit from Stinger. So when you're going to reverse, it's the reverse camera. And then while you're driving along, indicate left, brings up the camera there on the screen. So that's from under that one. And that's the one under the view there from the mirror. That's it there. So as you'll see, we've got our range of new Phoenix Gold SX2 amplifiers here today to show you. We've got our four channel, our six channel and mono block. And what sets these amplifiers apart from other amplifiers is simply the build quality, the sound quality and the features. Three things we're gonna cover with you today. First, let's talk about the four channel, Trav. Mm -hmm. Now the four channel is the heart and soul of any install. And this amplifier is full of heart. Power wise, you're looking at four by 150 at four ohm, 4x200 at 2 ohm, and bridged, you're looking at 400 watts RMS. And like all these amplifiers, you look at this beautiful finish. You have this nice brushed alloy black with this beautiful anodized gold heat sink area. These amps are just screaming sexy to me. <laughs> and then from the four channel itself, you move on to the six channel. And what makes the six channel a little bit unique is the fact that it has six channels. Most amplifiers tend to be in a five channel configuration. So say front, rear and a subwoofer setup, and that's about it. Now, the six channel can be used for that. You can use it for front, rear and sub, as the fifth and sixth channels can be bridged to run a subwoofer itself. But what makes this unique is the fact that the fifth and sixth channel can be bridged to over 500 watts. So you can run a really nice subwoofer configuration off this if you wanted to. What you can also do with it is actually run speakers actively. So say you've got a, what, a Land Rover. Land Rover. Range BMW. Rover, BMW. Mm -hmm. And you've got three-way active front speakers. Or you can use this to run your tweeter, your mid-range, and your mid-bass. You're probably wondering, well, how can I do it? This actually has a crossover network built into it designed for this application. So what makes it really cool is the fact that you can use it to run three-way active front. You could use a two-way active front, active being separate Twitter and separate mid-base, and you could use it to run a subwoofer in the boot of your car. So it's got a lot of applications and has, as we said, fifth and sixth channels can be bridged to over 500 watts. So like the four channel, it has a very smooth and warm sound to it. So fantastic for that audiophile who's looking for a clean and strong signal, but still wants build quality that isn't gonna break the bank. Mm -hmm. From that, we then move on to our monoblock amplifier. Now, what makes this a little bit different is the fact that you can strap this to a secondary amplifier if you wanted to, to double your power. Mm -hmm. Same thing, same build quality, same brushed black alloy and gold accents on the top, the same metal fittings on the end. And basically with this guy, you're looking at 1200 watts RMS at one ohm. So we've got some serious power with 
headroom. Now, one of the features you can also do with basically these amplifiers yourself, as you'll probably see on the box, is bass shift. Mm -hmm. Now, people are looking at, well, what is bass shift? No, it's not a manual gearbox. No, it doesn't let you change gear to your bass channel. Bass shift is designed to allow you to adjust the phasing of your subwoofer to suit your vehicle's basically style, length, and size. Now, most amplifiers will have a phasing control of either in phase or out. 180 or zero. What this lets you do is actually adjust it using the sub controller. You can simply wind it out. It allows you to adjust your phasing of zero all the way to 180 degrees. Now moving on with the adjustment, basically what you will find with these amplifiers is they include this beautiful bass controller. Now what makes this a little bit different as we said is you have two controls here. The inner one allowing you to adjust the sub level, the outer allowing you to adjust the phase control. Now these guys have a beautiful weighted finish and a very nice build quality. You also have a peak indicator there. So unlike a lot of sub controllers that tend to have a very cheap and chintzy feel to mm -hmm. them, this guy has a real nice strong high quality finish. The same as what you're going to get out of the amplifier. So that's one thing with these amplifiers. It makes it a little bit different, Trav. Now, you did say that was a strappable amplifier. Yes, so yep. what this means is you can actually take two of these guys and strap it to double your power. 24. So, well, yeah, if you wanted to have 2,400 watts, you could get two of these guys, link them together using the RCA jacks on the front of the amplifier itself, and away it goes. You've doubled your power. It's the big thing with these amplifiers that makes them a little bit different, and what you're going to love with them is simply the build quality, the features, and the sound quality. It's not often that you pick up an amplifier and the weight and feel of it, you really feel you're getting your money's value out of it because it has not only does it have great sound out of it, it also has brilliant build quality that is pretty much the kind of thing you're going to keep for an extended amount of time. You know, when you go to sell that car, you're going to take these guys out and move them on to the next car. Yep. The same as what you used to do. You'll years pass ago. them down to your grandchildren. <laughs> I do. <don't>, yes. <laughs> So that's the range of SX2 amplifiers. These guys are available from All Good, Phoenix Gold, and Stinger Australia retailers. Mm -hmm. So again, when you get a chance, check them out. So thank you very much for watching, guys. Now, if you do have any questions that you'd like to ask, put them in the comments below. Or if you've got any uh, topics that you'd like to discuss or like us to discuss in upcoming episodes, please let us know. Uh, and don't forget to subscribe to our Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube account. Catch you later. See ya.